It's two sides to the story. Well, we want to hear your side. I'm tired of you saying it's two sides to a story. Technically, it's three sides. Your side, the um person that you're going against side, and the truth. Okay, so we want to hear your side. So we can decipher what the hell was the truth or might not been the truth. So help you God. We want to know. What is your side? Sometimes I wonder if it's how it's supposed to. What it do, y'all? This your girl, Star J Crazy. And I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Y'all should be proud of me. Family, y'all should be proud of me. Because your girl is coming back to back with videos okay you should be proud i'm proud of myself because you know girl don't be we, you only get one out of me <laughs> one but um we're gonna talk about this phaedra she did an exclusive interview with e online was it et yeah et online and of course the famous question that was posing against um miss phaedra park southern bell why didn't you tell us your side of this whole candy, you know, and Porsche thing ordeal that happened how many years ago? But why you didn't tell your side when you was asked by Vicky? Like, what happened? Why? You know, the departure of your franchise on your side of town. Why you didn't tell us? And Miss Phaedra, in her Phaedra way, she responded. I'm not going to say that's in the past and you know i'd rather be doing my own thing i don't want to be on real housewives of atlanta while they are sinking she loves to refer real housewives of atlanta sinking she's on the yacht sipping champagne living life in dubai <laughs> see what she exactly what she said okay y'all so let's get into this particular section or portion of the interview where she discussed um, basically how she wasn't going to talk about it. But then, you know, I had to go ahead and read it for myself before I bring it to my people. I'm sorry, but I had to, you know, do a little deep dive in myself. She said they did. Um, She did speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs> they did. She did speak on it, but they chose not to air it. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder why they chose not to air it. Mm. Y'all, y'all, y'all let that marinate. Y'all let that marinate. So it says it's been five years since Phaedra Parks handed in her peach, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And despite fan pleas to make a return, Phaedra says there's no interest in picking up that peach ever again. No, I don't want to pick up a peach, she declares. If I wanted a peach, I would have a peach pie, but that's not. No, as I've made it very clear. That's not what I want to do. No, I will be yachting. Let them continue to sail away on the Titanic, okay? But if y'all remember the Titanic, they sunk into the deep, 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 deep depths of the ocean. She also says, well, actually, we had spoke about it earlier, and so they chose not to air it. Mm. However, that was, and just to be very honest, that was what, now five and a half six years ago and there's two sides to the story well we want to hear your side i'm tired of you saying it's two sides to a story technically it's three sides your side the um person that you're going against side and the truth okay so we want to hear your side so we can decipher what the hell was the truth or might not been the truth so help you god we want to know, what is your side? You only heard one, and obviously they chose not to play the other side. So I really want to know, what did she say that they chose not to air? What did she really say? And so it is what it is, but I'm living in the present, and I think people realize the people that know, know. And most of the people knew, and they still know. Well, we want to know. How about that? Phaedra hints her side may never come out, citing possible legal issues that could pop up from the story. And that's what I was thinking. Because, you know, a producer had told her about the situation. So I'm like, you know, Candy could sue for defamation. But 
that's only if they defaming her. Well, they did defame her character, but this she, she didn't even sue. So some got to be under wraps with that, with the whole situation. Some got to be under wraps because you know they ain't telling us everything. She does know though that if what she did was really so bad, why would Bravo give her a second chance on air? Well, technically, mm, you got a point. Why, but they, mm, cause she's still with Bravo. She just not with Candy, you know, on that team. But she's still making, you know, little coins, a little appearances here and there. And then she's on this Ultimate Girl trip. So mm, she might got a point. I'll say it like this. It is what it is. I mean, people are going to like you and they're going to believe whatever side they want to believe. And I think my record speaks for itself. And not one day is going to obviously be my legacy. And that was some BS, as I said then. And it's still some BS. And obviously, I'm back in the Bravo family. So that speaks volumes, shall we say. So, is you trying to throw up the, mm, to Candy, like, what's good? I'm still on this team, just not on your team. I'm still on, okay. <laughs> if obviously there was the whole issue with me and they didn't want to be bothered with me, you wouldn't see me popping up at every event because I didn't invite myself. Mm. Well, you better come with it then, Phaedra. <laughs> Talking about if I wasn't, you know, if I was a person that did what you call so dirty and they didn't want to work with me, why am I getting by this different stuff? Why am I on certain shows <laughs> still with the franchise, but just not that team or that city? It was rumored that she was, uh, she came to Sheree's fashion show and she talking about something, well, I must have was a ghost because I probably was there spiritually in um spiritual form, but I went in there. She knows she went. And then the last thing they said, while Real Housewives of Atlanta watchers might suspect Phaedra wants to stay out of the stay out of same spaces as Candy, given the dramatic history, she clarifies that they've been in the same room several times. We've been in the room. As for whether they spoke in the room, Phaedra will only say she's made eye contact. Remember, I see you. I see, okay. Guys, just tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next word on the street. Be breathing.